had some Somebody ridiculous just for the finishes. Giants play. Yes, standing O, three well, in overtime, capped off by the G Men <laughs> rallying late. Happy Columbus Day. Thanks for starting your week with us. We're all in studio today. Your boys, Skip Bayless, Stephen A. Smith. I'm Molly Karam. Gentlemen. How are you? What's up? You know, I, I, I hate to admit this. I, I swear I thought of you 29 times during oh. the Saturday and the Sunday games. You're in my head. I just want you to know, just in case you have forgotten, mm. since you made that comment about at me about a little over a week ago yeah. about me not getting my picks right. I've been pretty close to perfect. Oh, oh, oh to no, that. wait a second. Cincinnati, Seattle? Mm, yeah, oh, did you have that one, one right? No, I don't think you had that one right. That's the only one. Well, that what was the one. other one? I don't even any, know. We didn't pick very one. many games. Oh, yes, we did. Huh? Yes, we did. Well, well I think we ahead. picked two. Mm. Yes, we go. What are yeah. the Oakland Raiders doing? Well, and how close was I? Did I not have the ball driving for the winning touchdown or field goal? You did. And finally, Derek Carr made one stupid, crazy mistake. We're going to get to that later, guys. Come on. I almost swept yesterday. Let's get to the highlight of Sunday, though. Sunday night football. Eli Manning pulls it off in the fourth over the Niners, and the Giants now lead in the NFC East at 3-2. and two. Eli stands for elite. Skip? E elite? How impressed oh, were you? We're doing that again? How impressed oh. were you by elite? You, you know what? I got to tell you two Believe Giants fans. I, I know you're kind of a Giants fan. I'm a, today, I'm going to call you a Giants fan. Now, I know she has no objectivity because she is crazy Giants fan. I was greatly impressed with how lucky Eli Manning oh, was lucky. last night. That's oh, how impressed okay, I was. Lucky. You know what? I, I Honestly, from my heart, mm. I still have not recovered from, happen, from what happened late last night in this football game. I could not fall asleep thinking about how close my reeling Dallas Cowboys came to still being tied for the NFC mm -hmm. East lead but they're because not. it was just an inch away from everybody in the division being two and three, including your Giants, who were an inch away from getting mm -hmm. upset at home by Colin Kaepernick and the San Francisco 49ers. You should be ashamed, both of you, that it was that close that late. But here's what happened Cowboys to me. Good. It came within an inch when Eli suddenly turned into bad Eli that we've seen before when he has led this league in interceptions three different times. We saw it at the end of the first half when he threw an incomprehensible end zone interception no that turned a potential route into a game long battle with those 49ers. And I'm impressed with how they hung in and fought. But now let's go to 50 seconds left in the game. Please. From the San Francisco 44, Eli drops back to pass. He's under some duress. He closes his eyes and he heaves down the middle of the field a David Tyree memorial pass and a prayer. It was vintage bad Eli. Bombs away, bombs away. It's up in the air, it's up in the air. And wait a minute, Tremaine Brock intercepts it and I jump out of my chair it's over I won it yes my Cowboys are still tied for the division lead oh, he's got it in his hands but then upon further review he didn't quite get his hands underneath the ball maybe just an inch more just an inch mm -hmm. and the game is over but but I'm good with it I'm good he didn't quite control the football up off the ground I get it so Eli lived to play another play. Mm. Maybe this is the year of Eli. We see him like every, every four, three or four every years, four. Yeah, every four years. Maybe this is just going to be that year because he throws an incomplete on the next pass. Then they hit my expatriate, Shane Vereen, beautiful little screen pass for 24 yards. And then pass interference occurs on Odell Beckham Jr. who's been out of the game after he aggravated his hamstring, I guess, celebrating his touchdown. Yeah, is that, that possible? Bad. That was bad. Is that possible? It's he possible. aggravated yeah. his... Well, well you, that's you can, impossible. You can clown the Giants <laughs> okay, for that. Okay, okay, okay. But somehow he miraculously recovered mm. and came out for the last series of the game mm. and gets a crucial pass interference yeah. that sets up, and I got to give it to you, Eli made a yeah. sweet throw to Donnell for the touchdown, and it was a terrific catch. Bullet. Controlling the ball. It wasn't you a should bullet. be doing play-by-play, play, I, I don't know how that's okay. never happened. I, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but but I'm still out of my mind over this because Tremaine Brock, I'm going to remember this all year because it's going to play down the line in the <laughs> NFC standings play. because if he just gets his hands just an inch more under the ball, you guys are sitting here at two and mm, three, as not. am I. My reeling mm. Cowboys would still be afloat. They would mm. they would have banked a win but, uh, but, against but, but, the Giants. But, but you don't need to be bringing up that argument because these are the 49ers after all. 
Well, but, he's out the 49ers. Well, that's my point. Can I say one thing, though, Stephen A.? What was Eli's QBR? I, I don't know. Oh, really? I, I didn't even you look don't? this one up. Oh. What was it? 91. 91? 91. You love Eli, QBR. wait, how do you give Eli a 91, 91. off that game when he threw a mind-blowing football. interception at the end of the game? of 54 completions, 400 Team plus record. yards. Yeah. yeah. Team record. Mm-hmm. That's how you do that, Skip mm-hmm. Bayless. Yeah. If, this you, were, if this were Tony Romo or Tom Brady <laughs> exactly. or somebody, you would not hesitate. Well, Why would you deny it? Brady, Why would you deny it? Issue. Why would you deny it with Eli Manning? Let's because call he's it what it Eli. Is. That's right, mm-hmm. exactly. You know, he doesn't well, deserve a 91. Well, I got news for you. I mean, if, if luck is what got him two Super Bowl championships, oh, then mm-hmm. most of us would it want did. to be that lucky. Yeah. Yeah. And by the I'll way, if you're going to make the argument that Eli Manning is about luck, then the Dallas Dallas Cowboys are going to be incredibly unlucky because for 20 years and counting, luck will not be on their side. Well, I can promise you that. So you right take now, all I have and Whedon on my side. Me, That's I, all I got. I, I would tell you this. Yeah. I would, well, we'll Scary. get to them. We'll yeah. get to them later. I know we will. We'll get to them know, later. Yeah. Listen, I was proud of Eli and his performance. Um, Odell Beckham Jr. out with a hamstring, comes back, gets the call in his favor. No, no, seriously, did he do it when he was celebrating his so. touchdown? I think so. I'm not sure, but I Lord think so. Lord have mercy I on think all so. of us. And, and, let me t- and let me tell you something right now, too. And, and, and just, as an aside, just as an aside, y'all, what makes me absolutely laugh about these guys, mm-hmm. but at the same time scratch my head incredulously, he these did guys, it right there. check right this there, out, he did here's, it. here's the thing that kills me, here's the thing that absolutely <laughs> positively kills me, listen to this, y'all, concussions are a big issue in the world of football, mm-hmm. one of the first things these, these guys do when they celebrate is they butt heads. I don't understand it. I don't understand it. You get a celebration, you get a hamstring. You got concussion issues, you're, you you know, you're butting heads with one mm-hmm. another. I just don't understand it. It makes absolutely positively no sense to me, but it is what it is. Here's what it comes down to, Skip Bayless, and I'm going to use this game because really it's the 49ers as far as I'm concerned. I was disappointed that the Giants made it far tougher than it needed to be. This was a team that got outscored, what was it, 127, I mean, what was it, 20? 107 to 28, something along those lines in a three-game losing streak that they had suffered from coming into this game. Mm-hmm. But what really resonates with me, Skip Bayless, and what I really would ask you to pay attention to, mm. and I say this in an almost comical fashion because it does make me laugh, mm-hmm. is that when I think about the Giants, here's what they're doing without Victor Cruz. Here's what they're doing with Ruben Brando having gone down. Here's what they did with Odell Beckham Jr. going down. Your Cowboys, see, it seems to me mm-hmm. that everything seems to be going away from them. And again, we'll get into them later. When I think about this Giants squad, their defense is not overly impressive, mm-hmm. but impressive enough where they bend enough, but they don't break. Offensively, let's face reality, they're high-powered. When you look, I mean, every time when Victor Cruz went down, Ruben Randall stepped up. Without Randall and Cruz, Odell Beckham Jr., just remind y'all that his rookie year was no fluke when he accumulated over 1,300 nope. yards in just 13 mm-hmm. games. He is just a flat-out baller. Incredible hands, good speed, you know, good route runner. I mean, mm-hmm. the sky's the limit for this kid mm-hmm. right here. And if they can get anything with their running game, I mean, if Vereen isn't just catching passes out of the backfield, mm-hmm. but somebody, one of those trio of dudes, learns to run the football effectively. Yep. I'm just telling you right now, I look at the Giants' offense and I say these boys are lethal. The NFC East Mm -hmm. is appropriately a a division with them in first place because it is truly their division to take right now. The New York Giants are actually the team to beat as we speak in the NFC East. Now, obviously, Romo and and, 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 uh, Des Bryant are Mm -hmm. out, so that'll be revisited. Mm -hmm. But right now, they're they're on the way up. Mm-hmm. Your Dallas Cowboys are plummeting, mm-hmm. yes. and the Redskins and the Philadelphia Eagles are just somewhere in between. Mm-hmm. The Giants right now are high-powered, and they're a team to be reckoned with, Skip. Okay, they were not a team to be reckoned with on defense when Colin Kaepernick chewed them up and spat them out in the second half. I agree with you, that. You should be a little shaky about that. I'm shaky with that whole right? fourth quarter. They well, I'm always shaky when their defense, yep. their signature is defense in terms of their championship teams. Their championship teams won because they had the ability to get at the quarterback. Mm-hmm. I don't see this team they being don't. that kind of team. Nope, they I don't. I see them beating themselves. Sometimes they do, but right now they're winning by default in a division because they still have one thing going for them. They still have their quarterback. I don't have my quarterback, and until I do, I'm going to struggle, and I'm probably going to lose every game. 
probably we'll talk about should Matt Castle go for Brandon Whedon. You I, can get on board for the rest of the season. With the Giants? Yeah, I already you told to. you what's going to happen. I predicted here last week, one you week can. ago today. They are on Come their on way over. to winning seven straight games because here's what's going to happen. Next Monday night, a week from tonight, they're going to win at Eagles. They're going to beat my Cowboys in New York the next week. They're going to win at the Saints. They're going to win at the Bucks. Then the Pats will visit and that will end their seven game winning streak. But at that point, they're going to have a commanding lead in the NFC East and then it's just going to matter, can Romo and Dez get and stay healthy, and could my team get hot? Because if my team gets hot and healthy, you guys better look out you know below. What boggle, you know what boggles my mind about the New York Giants in all seriousness as we sit here talking about them right now? They're ranked 14th defensively, but they're 32nd against the pass. They're dead last against the pass. Mm -hmm. They're number two against the rush. You can't run. They can shut down the run. Passing-wise, they give up a lot of yardage. I do not understand that. With Dominique Rogers, Cromartie, mm -hmm. with Merriweather, with Amukamara, I don't understand for the life of me why this team is dead last against the they pass. They don't get enough pressure. I, I don't. I, I know they don't get enough yep. pressure. That's a big, big deal. Yep. But your secondary should have, even with a, a, a minimal pass rush, mm -hmm. you shouldn't be ranked. 32nd in the NFL yep. with, with those guys in your secondary. Shouldn't happen. Yeah. Moving on to another team. Thank you, Skip. Yeah. Yeah. You, you okay? You okay? That, was that mm. tough for you? I'm not okay, but go ahead. Uh, we know. We Change know. the subject. Let's talk about okay. another Super Bowl pick. Here. You know, but we are getting back to the Cowboys today, are we not? Of course. I didn't want to make sure of that. Oh, I thought you were done talking about the Cowboys. I thought you were the one who tells me you were sick of talking about the Cowboys. I have no desire. We need time for the Cowboys. I have no desire to talk about anything that makes you happy. But it um, is my pleasure to okay. talk about things that make you miserable. Well, this will make I mean, me happy. I will tell you that. Stephen I think you did pick the Seattle Seahawks uh -huh. to win the Super Bowl. Yeah. Yeah. Next go, question. Let's go there. And some Somebody ridiculous just for the finishes. Giants play. Yes, standing O, three well, and overtime, capped off by the G-Men <laughs> rallying late. Happy Columbus Day. Thanks for starting your week with us. We're all in studio today. Your boys, Skip Bayless, Stephen A. Smith. <laughs> I'm Molly Karam. Gentlemen. How are you? What's up? You know, I, I, I hate to admit this. I, I swear I thought of you 29 times during oh. the Saturday and the Sunday games. You're in my head. I just want you to know, just in case you have forgotten, mm. since you made that comment about at me about a little over a week ago yeah. about me not getting my picks right, I've been pretty close to perfect. Oh, oh, oh to no, that. wait a second. Cincinnati, Seattle? Mm, yeah, oh, did you have that one right? No, I don't <laughs> think you had that one right. That's the only one. Well, Actually, what was the other one? I don't even know any. We didn't any pick very one. many games. Oh, yes, we did. Huh? Yes, we did. Well, well I think go we ahead. picked two. Mm. Yes, we go. What, how's yeah. the Oakland Raiders doing? Well, and how close was I? Did I not have the ball driving for the winning touchdown or field goal? You did. And finally, Derek Carr made one stupid, crazy mistake. We're going to get to that later, guys. Come on. I almost swept yesterday. Let's get to the highlight of Sunday, though. Sunday night football. Eli Manning pulls it off in the fourth over the Niners, and the Giants now lead in the NFC East at 3-2. and two. Eli stands for Elite. Skip. E elite? How impressed oh, were you? We're doing that again? How impressed oh. were you by Elite? You, you know what? I got to tell you two Believe Giants fans. I, I know you're kind of a Giants fan. I'm a, today, I'm going to call you a Giants fan. Yeah. Now, I know she has no objectivity because mm -hmm. she is crazy Giants fan. I was greatly impressed with how lucky Eli Manning was oh, last lucky. night. That's oh, how impressed okay, I was. Lucky. You know what? I, I Honestly, from my heart, mm. I still have not recovered from, happen, from what happened late last night in this football game. I could not fall asleep thinking about how close my reeling Dallas Cowboys came to still being tied for the NFC mm -hmm. East lead. But they're because not. it was just an inch away from everybody in the division being two and three, including your Giants, who were an inch away from getting mm -hmm. upset at home by Colin Kaepernick and the San Francisco 49ers. You should be ashamed, both of you, that it was that close that late. But here's what that happened to me. Good. It came within an inch when Eli suddenly turned into bad Eli that we've seen before when he has led this league in interceptions three different times. We saw it at the end of the first half when he threw an incomprehensible end zone interception no that turned a potential route into a game long battle with those 49ers. And I'm impressed with how they hung in and fought. But now let's go to 50 seconds left in the game. Please. From the San Francisco 44, 
Eli drops back to pass. He's under some duress. He closes his eyes and he heaves down the middle of the field a David Tyree memorial pass and a prayer. It was vintage bad Eli. Bombs away, bombs away. It's up in the air, it's up in the air. And wait a minute. Tremaine Brock intercepts it and I jump out of my chair. It's over. I won it. Yes, my Cowboys are still tied for the division lead. Oh, He's got it in that. his hands. But then upon further review, he didn't quite get his hands underneath the ball. Maybe just an inch more, just an inch. Mm -hmm. And the game is over. But but I'm good with it. I'm good. He didn't quite control the football up off the ground. I get it. So Eli lived to play another play. Mm. Maybe this is the year of Eli. We see him like every, every four. three or four every years. Four. Yeah, every four years. Maybe this is just going to be that year because he throws an incomplete on the next pass. Then they hit my expatriate, Shane Vereen. Beautiful little screen pass for 24 yards. And then pass interference occurs on Odell Beckham Jr. who's been out of the game after he aggravated his hamstring, I guess, celebrating his touchdown. Yeah, is that, that possible? Bad. That was bad. Is that possible? It's he possible. aggravated yeah. his... Well, well, you, that's you impossible. Can, you can clown the Giants <laughs> okay, for that. Okay, okay, okay. But somehow, he miraculously...